reaction. After that, we take one very special type of the uh, reaction. You know, this is known as pseudo first order reaction. This is what actually pseudo first order reaction. Pseudo means fake, false. So such reactions appear to be higher order. Actually, such reactions appear to be what order? Higher order, but they are what order reaction? Lower order reaction in which in which molecularity molecularity is greater than one. In this reaction, you can say water is taken as the large excess with respect to the solute so there is no change in the concentration of the water molecule only there is change in the concentration of the solute but not the solvent usually you will get hydrolytic reactions like right, right so this is what it is the first order reactions appear to be higher order but actually they are lower order reaction in which molecule is always greater than the order of reaction that's why they are called pseudo first order reaction. For example, inversion of cane sugar. Inversion of cane sugar C12H22O11 plus water. Right? So here it is the aqueous state that gives C6. H12O6 glucose plus fructose C6H12O6 in aqueous. One is the glucose and other is the fructose. You know they are the isomers having the same molecular formula but different structural formula in which they differ in their functional group. Glucose contains aldehyde group and fructose contains yes ketonic group. That is why they differ in their functional group. Isomerism. Right. So here it is taken as excess, large excess with respect to the solute. Therefore, there is no change in the concentration of the water molecule. No doubt, molecularity is 1 plus 1. What is there? 2. But actually, order of reaction, you can say it is, it can be written as rate equal to K into C12. S22 O11 and concentration of water is taken as 0. So rate is equal to K into C12 S22 O11. Once one thing you have observed here, two reactants involved in the reaction. So molecularity is simply total number of moles, it's alright. But order depends upon the change in the concentration. Since water has been taken in such a large excess with respect to the solute, so there is no change in the concentration of the water molecule. Actually, these are rather zero order or first order, so they are termed as pseudo first order reaction. Second, you can say hydrolysis of ester. Dear students, what is the hydrolysis of ester? RCOOR plus water. Right, so this is RCOH plus ROH. Again, it is taken as the excess. So, rate equal to K into RCOR. Such reactions, again, it is called pseudo first order reaction. It's alright. In your syllabus, two derivations are required for zero order and first order. Numerical based on zero order as well as first order reaction with half life period. My dear students, let you drive zero order reaction. Anybody can define? Yes, anyone? What is zero order reaction? So, first write derivation of zero order reaction means means those reactions in which rate of reaction is proportional to zero power of the 
concentration of reactants called zero order reaction that means what rate of reaction is independent upon the molar concentration of the reactants such reactions are relatively you know relatively very uncommon uncommon and depends upon you know experimental conditions like like you can say surface area surface area of catalyst and enzyme in in this way we can say ki do reactions which are uh, catalytical as well as enzymatic reactions are in this category categorically they are called as zero order reaction very typical examples given in your book decomposition of ammonia in presence of platinum surface so n2 plus 3h2 but molecularity is true no doubt because two molecules are involved but actually rate equal to k into ammonia i write here zero because it is zero order reaction it doesn't depend upon the concentration of the ammonia so it is called zero order reaction dear students next one is the decomposition of hi see two times hi in presence of the gold catalyst h2 plus i2 so molecularity is 2 but what about the rate is equal to k into hi ki power what is there zero so it is called zero order reaction because rate is directly proportional to the zero power of the concentration of the reactant is called zero order reaction see the graph for graph for zero order reaction is if you plot a graph it is the you can see time and this is the concentration which is the r not so graph is slope is negative k is equal to negative slope this is what expresses the decreasing the concentration of the reactant so it is called graph is meant for zero order reaction so let let a gives the product right at time zero concentration of a is a and product is zero once time is increased a minus x and this is the x so according to rate law so dx a small change in the concentration a small change in time a minus x ki power what is that zero dx upon dt k into anything raised to the power zero is what is this one so dx is equal to k into what is there dt let, let you take integration take integration on both sides we get so integration dx is equal to k into dt or k can be taken out here so x is equal to k into t plus c it is you know equation 1 in the beginning you can say in the beginning of the reaction say x is equal to 0 so time is equal to also 0 so 0 is equal to k into 0 plus c so c equal to what is that 0 imply these values in equation 1 what is that equation 1 this is what here x is equal to k into t or k is equal to x by t so delta x upon delta t actually x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 or you can say r not minus r upon delta t final concentration minus initial concentration and time elapsed or taken to complete the reaction it is the derivation of zero order reaction now how to correlate this reaction with half life period that is the time required to disintegrate 
half of the total amount of the substance is called half life period let let t is equal to t 1 by 2 x is equal to a by 2 apply you know the first order reaction here k is equal to x upon t 1 by 2 or t 1 by 2 is equal to x is how much here a by 2 upon what is that so a by 2k it is what the application of zero order reaction with half life period it is all about zero order reaction introduction examples unit you know it very well and then apply this formula with half life period now the students just to go for derivation of what order reaction first order reaction as the name is the first order so anybody can define this yes anybody can define the reaction this means the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of only one reactant if it is called second order concentration rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of the two reactants it is second order if it is zero order that means proportional to the zero power of the concentration of the reactants it's all right okay then first order reaction let a gives the product so according to rate law a gives the product so at time t a small amount a product zero and then finally you can take time increased a minus x product there x times so according to rate law according to rate law dx upon dt is directly proportional to a minus x e power what one why i have written here one because of it is the first order reaction right that shows it is the first order reaction so dx upon dt is equal to k into a minus x e power one or dx upon a minus x equal to k into what is that dt you know what is k k is the rate constant right so here Taking integration, taking integration on both sides. Integration dx upon a minus x equal to integration k into dt or integration dx upon a minus x is equal to k integration dt or dx upon a minus x is equal to k into t plus c. So integration a minus x minus 1 into dx is equal to k into t plus c. Now integration overcome. Therefore you can take log a minus x e base c into minus 1. Concentration of the reactant 1 is equal to k into t plus c. Or minus log a minus x e base c equal to k into t plus c. This is the equation what? This is the equation 1. My dear students here, in the beginning, time is 0, so concentration is also 0. So x equal to 0, so time is equal to what is there? 0. So what is that? Let you put these values and you get the right answer. So minus law a minus 0 ki base c k into 0 plus c. Minus law a ki base e equal to what is that c? Put c in equation 1. Put c in 1. We get what is there now? Minus log a minus x t base e equal to k into t plus minus to minus log a t base e. Log a t base e minus log a minus x k base e is equal to what is that kt log m minus log n tell me what is that you know in mathematics log m minus log n log m by n log m minus log n so kt is equal to log a upon a minus x k base e or k is equal to 1 by t into log of a upon a minus x k base e the change of base e to say log 10 then you can take that values 
3.303. So k is equal to 2.303 upon time t into log of a upon a minus x. What is a? A is the initial concentration and it is what actually final concentration. Instead of this, you can apply here k, k is equal to 2.303 upon t into log of r naught upon what is that? r. Let us assume one reaction. One, uh, you know, all the uh, disintegration reaction, nuclear reactions follow first order kinetics. Right? If any substance decompose 1 upon 16 of its initial values, then calculate the rate constant. So let there R0 should be taken as 1 and then consume 1 upon 16. So 1 by 1 by 16, that will be log 16. Right? So it is the derivation of what order? See, first order reaction. How can you apply with half life periods? Metal strings, it is with half life period. You know, half life period, let T is equal to T 1 by 2, X is equal to A half life A by 2, you can say 0 0.5 A. Now, my dear students here, so from the first order kinetics, you take the first order kinetics, K is equal to 2.303 upon T into log of A upon A minus X. So k is equal to 2.303 upon t half into log of a upon a minus 0.5a. Did you solve? t half is here. Now t half. I mean half life period equal to 2.303. I corrected 2.303 upon k into log of a and A is taken as common 1 minus 0 0.5 A cancelled out so T half equal to 2.303 upon K into log of 1 by 1 by 2 finally it will be converted into log 2 and log 2 is you know 3 point, uh, 0.3010 so T half is equal to 2.303 into 0 0.3010 upon k. Finally, you will get 0 0.693 upon k. You remember this formula and you solve the question based on the first order reaction. I will provide you in my assignment. Majority of the questions fall in this category. Calculate the rate constant, half life period. Now, uh, like this, so you can have the different kind of questions which I will procure from your textbook. So this is all about zero order, first order, unit of the order of reaction, features of the order of reaction, as well as what is pseudo first order reaction. This is all about the half of the chapter is, you know, by including the different parameters of the chemical kinetics. I hope you understood. Have a nice day. God bless you. Thank you very much.